Hi guys, charity shop gold or garbage. We're sitting up in my bathroom because I'm actually running a pop pop boat around at the moment. But because I've got the water in the bath, I thought we could have a look at this fella. Uh, Copyright 2009, Prism Art and Design Limited. Caught my eye in the charity shop. Oh, it was a pound, which is a good start. I like things that are a pound. But what caught my eye is it's actually clockwork. It's broken. but it is clockwork and you can see <laughs> it's only got two petals to its um, propeller, two blades to its propeller. Well it worked a bit, it's obviously got some issues hasn't it? Because I was rather interested to see how that clockwork actually works. I don't know where the clockwork motor is. So we've established it doesn't work very well in the bath, but I'm still interested to know how the clockwork motor works or the wind up motor. Three, four, seven screws around there. I don't think we can get that motor off. There's one screw that's hidden in there. So I think this has got to come off first. Right, they come apart. Yeah. Okay, so a bit of buoyancy aid there. We've got another bit here. Ah, right, that's going to lift off. Right, well, that explains it. I couldn't figure out how we've got a wind-up motor up in there, and we haven't. That's obviously, there'll be a couple of gears in there. I'll take it apart in a second. But come down there, and probably another gear there, probably a worm gear. Does that lift out? Oh yes, that just lifts out. So it's a fake outboard motor, really. I suppose potentially, there's not a lot of room there, but you could swap that out and just have a normal electric motor driving that directly, except that's broken. See, a little train of gears. Turn that one, turns that one, turns that one. That turns that, which turns that. It doesn't look like, it's, like there's any broken teeth or anything. It's just not really man enough for the job, I think. Well, those are some nice gears, if I don't lose them on the floor. Caught it. Hmm. 
Yeah, no broken teeth there. No broken teeth there, but obviously broken propeller. I don't have very many propellers for boats. I'll have to have a look on eBay, see if I can pick some up. So that'd be nice to put a nice little propeller on there and get it working. I suspect all it needs is a bit of um, lubrication or something. I think that should just pop out of there. Yeah, no particular reason for it not working. So it sits in there. And that's the one that sits across there and winds it up. So yeah, nothing broken, huh, apart from the propeller. Yeah, whether it's worth trying to squirt a bit of lubrication in there. That just slots down in there. Just a thought. And it's possible that might be bent. Doesn't look bent, but bearing in mind the propeller's broken, it might have been trodden on and bent. That might have taken it out of alignment a bit. Or I could just squirt some silicon spray in there or something. What did I say it was made by? I don't think we can see that on the camera, but it does actually say copyright 2009 Prism Art and Design Limited. I can't see anything particularly wrong with it other than it needed a bit of lubrication. Probably could do with a bit more on the other gears as well. Maybe a little bit of grease or something. Uh, very light grade grease.
It's almost like it's wearing in, isn't it? Like it's getting better. That might be the lubrication I've put, in, put on it, working its way around the gears. Still, better than the first look in the bath. Yeah, not a total failure. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.